हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द रिएक्टर फिजिक्स दैट इज न्यूक्लियर फिशन एंड बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द डिटेल ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट व्हाट इज बेसिकली दिस न्यूक्लियर फिशन फिनोमिना एंड why this fission phenomena is uh, important in two days scenario in order to uh, generate a huge amount of energy and apart from that i will uh, discuss about uh, how this uh, nuclear fission uh, phenomena work and uh, what type of uh, fission fuel which we can use uh, in order to uh, use in the nuclear reactor for uh, the energy generation and uh, i think uh, then we will discuss uh, in numerical and uh, to uh, have a more clarity about this is concept so before going into detail i would like to explain about uh, the history of this uh, nuclear fission how the basic idea of this uh, uh, nuclear fission comes into line so after the discovery of neutron that uh, is in 1932 so the number of scientists uh, so they become quite curious uh, in order to Uh, uh, use this particle because neutron which is a neutral particle having no charge uh, and uh, it can uh, have a large penetration power and we can use this uh, particle in order to excite uh, various uh, heavy nuclei so the first uh, experiment which has been explained uh, uh, by the iran attack uh, in 1934 who just uh, who used these uh, neutrons uh, by striking on this uh, uh, heavy target nuclei and he just explain about some hypothesis of this uh, nuclear fission and uh, he just explain that uh, why these uh, heavy atomic nuclei so they are uh, more preferable as compared to lighter nuclei for uh, this uh, fission uh, phenomena and uh, further addition of uh, this nuclear fission it has been explained in 1934 that is uh, by enrico fermi and he used these uh, neutrons uh, uh, by bombarding it to various uh, uh, metal uh, heavy metal nuclei and he explain about uh, these uh, uh, neutron uh, transmutation phenomena so if uh, uh, what he has explained so these are the neutron a nuclear transmutation and he just uh, explained that uh, when we shoot out these neutron to this target nuclei then uh, uh, there are uh, various uh, uh, particle like uh, the gamma radiation and alpha particles which are coming out and uh, but uh, he failed to explain about uh, these uh, uh, fission uh, uh, fragments so uh, what type of fission fragments which uh, comes uh, and how the energy is being transferred from uh, this uh, heavier to lighter nuclei so later uh, three scientists uh, han strassman and uh, lisa mitnar so they explain this uh, uh, concept of uh, nuclear fission by bombarding uh, these neutron to uranium Uh, metal and uh, they just uh, use that natural uranium during that time and they found that uh, some fission fragments in the form of barium and krypton so they are coming out uh, and uh, so which is having very high kinetic energy but uh, they did not get the idea that along with these fission fragments uh, there are some neutrons which are also coming out uh, along with this uh, reaction uh, and uh, later this has been explained in 1940 with the sisliards uh, and fermi so they make some addition to this discovery and they said that uh, during this emission of uh, uh, fission fragments like uh, barium or krypton there are some other particles uh, like uh, three neutrons so which are also coming out uh, along uh, with this uh, and uh, a huge amount of energy which is being generated so the energy like uh, for a uranium fission of one atom so there is a emission of uh, approximately 200 mev of energy approximately so now so roughly so it depends on what type of uh, a nuclear fission fuel which we are using and like for uranium 235 uh, nuclei so this uh, much of uh, energy is coming out and uh, if we can able to sustain uh, this fission reaction like uh, once we start this fission reaction and uh, then this uh, is a self sustained process uh, so this that we will also discuss how this chain reaction work out 
ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਫਿਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਨਿਊਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਨਰੇਟ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਅਗੇਨ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਯੂਰੇਨੀਅਮ ਨਿਊਕਲੀਆਈ ਐਂਡ ਦਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ ਸੋ ਦੀ ਫਸਟ ਫਿਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਐਕਟਰ ਨਿਊਕਲੀਅਰ ਰਿਐਕਟਰ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਫਿਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ made up in chicago that is having a size of the room which is approximately 10 meter but uh, the energy uh, it can generate it is uh, not so much high as compared to today's scenario and uh, as you know that uh, during uh, the, the world war 2 so so these uh, atomic bomb and uh, this uh, atom bomb which has been made by this uranium fuel and uh, which is, which has been uh, shoot out by USA on Japan and they have destroyed their two cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki so what they have basically done is they made a nuclear fission bomb which is made up of uranium and the size of the bomb is in centimeters but it is having a mass of around 54 kg and now you can assume that because the energy which we will discuss is uh, generated is very much high but this 54 kg uranium they have destroyed uh, approximately the half of uh, the cities of japan and uh, their impact uh, which we can still observe at present so <clears throat> so this we will discuss in the uh, in, uh, example that how much energy we can liberate uh, from this uh, uranium fission now basically what is this nuclear fission so nuclear fission is uh, uh, when we are shooting this uh, neutron uh, <clears throat> to this uranium uh, atomic nuclei now depending upon uh, the energy of this neutron so there are two types of processes like uh, if we are shooting uh, slow neutrons so that is having a energy of uh, approximately uh, 0.025 mev so i have right here it is approximately 0.025 electron volt not mev so this energy is known as uh, the thermal energy of neutron so this we will discuss uh, in the coming lectures uh, how we can thermalize uh, these neutrons and this energy is very very less as compared to the fast neutron or the moderate neutron energy so which is uh, generally in the terms of mega electron volt now when this is slow neutron when we are bombarding to this uranium 235 so these neutron it is being absorbed by this uh, uranium nucleus and uh, you can see here these neutron is being absorbed and uh, it, here it forms the compound nucleus <coughs> so this compound nucleus so which comes in the excited state so now this is in the excited state when uh, this again loses its energy and this becomes defragmented into two parts so like barium and krypton so they are having uh, the mass of the order of 144 so that is of barium having atomic mass uh, 56 and krypton which is having a mass of 91 so along with this uh, emission of barium and krypton three neutrons they are also coming out from this uh, uh, reaction and along with that 200 mev of energy which is also coming out now how uh, i will discuss this uh, nuclear fission and chain reaction in my next lecture By, before uh, uh, discussing this uh, nuclear fission i would like uh, to explain ki how this fission process uh, takes place so basically so there is a concept of binding energy you can see that uh, every nucleon which is in the nucleus uh, it is uh, having some energy and it is bound to the nucleus uh, like uh, the nucleons which are uh, proton and neutron and they are bound in the nucleus having some energy and the minimum energy required to bound these nucleon that is known as the binding energy and now if you look at uh, this graph uh, the binding energy of uh, these uh, lighter nuclei uh, this trend is being decreasing so the heavier uh, uh, nuclei so their binding energy is uh, slightly less as compared to lighter nuclei so that's why we use these uh, heavy nuclei uh, uranium 235 and 238 uh, because their binding energy is slightly less as compared to this uh, uh, 
lighter nuclei and if they have less binding energy then we can easily defragment uh, uh, these uh, particles. So, so if we look at this uh, different nuclei we know that heavy nuclei so so what does it mean that uh, so for a nuclear fission favorable reaction so uh, we have we need to have uh, this uh, uh, heavy atomic nuclei. So this is uh, the, the reaction process which goes in the way ki, uh, for example this is uh, our mass energy equation you can see that this is the mass of uh, uh, our uranium nuclei and these are uh, the number of uh, protons uh, of barium second particle krypton and we multiply with this uh, 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 mass of proton to calculate uh, the total energy of a proton which are being carried out and this is uh, the total energy which is being calculated by the neutrons minus so this is the mass defect formula so what it explains is ki energy jadi ya o kinni liberate ho rahi hai it depends upon ki kinna jada mass aa o kat raha hai what does it means the mass of the reactant it is more as compared to the mass of product and kinna mass jada hai decrease kita hai that we can calculate uh, from this mass energy relation so jinna mass jada hai decrease karega so jinnu apa mass defect vi keh dinne ha so that mass it is being converted into energy and uh, so in this uranium reaction approximately 0.19 atomic mass unit it is being decreased so jeda jeda convert ho janda hai energy de vich and we have found that it is very huge energy that is 200 mev of energy which is being generated now if you look at this reaction so this is our nuclear reaction so this neutron it is being shoot and uh, these barium krypton and three neutrons so they are comes in the line and energy generated from this uh, one atom of uranium that is around 158 mega electron volt so which is very high energy and uh, this is the process does not stop here so for example jada ek neutron a unne aggo teen neutron generate karne hai so aggo jade teen neutron a again that three neutrons they interact with the three more uranium atoms and further they generate nine neutrons so again those nine neutrons they interact with the, the nine uranium atom and they generate 27 neutrons and again those 27 neutrons so they further generate 81 neutron and simi, and similarly this process goes on and for a longer period of time and we can generate a huge amount of energy from this nuclear fission reaction so this is how uh, our fuel uranium fuel which is defragmented so this is uh, the neutron which is being absorbed here and it has distorted its shape so now it is looking like oval in shape like egg shape and further so it is defragmented because there is a change in surface and uh, volume energy and so these finally break up into two small fragments now let us discuss uh, how we can calculate uh, uh, how much energy is being generated from this uranium nuclear fission reaction now here is the example so calculate the energy released by nuclear fission for 2 g of uranium in kilo electron volt and the given is the energy released per fission from one uranium atom that is around 200 mega electron volt ਹੁਣ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ 2 ਗ੍ਰਾਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਯੂਰੇਨੀਅਮ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਿੰਨੀ એનર્ਜੀ ਜਨਰੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ 1 ਐਟਮ એનર્ਜੀ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ਡ ਇਸ 200 ਮੈਗਾ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਵੋਲਟ ਸੋ ਮੈਗਾ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਵੋਲਟ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਜੌਲਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਨਵਰਟ ਕਰ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਸੋ 1 ਮੈਗਾ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਵੋਲਟ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਆਰਡਰ ਆਫ ਮੈਗਾ ਮੀਸ 10 ਟੂ ਪਾਵਰ 3 ਮਲਟੀਪਲਾਈ ਬਾਈ electron volt one electron volt the dia that is 1.6 into 10 is to power minus 19 joule so this much of energy it is being liberated from one uranium atom in terms of joule so total energy jehdi ya o kinni liberate karange 
how we can calculate ki jehde 2 gram uranium de vich kinne number of jehde atoms of uranium de present ha so we multiply this term with number of atoms so how we can calculate these number of atoms so this you have learned in uh, uh, your graduation classes ki chemistry de vich jehda hai ek atom de vich kinne jehde hai oh moles apna kaat lene hai so it is multiply by number of moles multiply by avogadro number so one avogadro number that is of the order of 6.023 into 10 is to power 23 atoms which are present in this one mole of uranium atom and when we divide this number of mole which is mass divided by molecular weight so mass given is 2 gram so molecular weight of uranium is 235 and we calculate it so it is coming of the order of this much kilowatt hour this much joule because we are using this joule hon ide vich apa joule nu kilowatt hour de vich kis tarah convert karna hega hai so kilowatt hour jada hega hai it is the standard unit jada apa gharan de vich vi household de vich jadi energy di consumption karde ha so ਉਹਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਿਲੋਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬਿਜਲੀ ਦੇ ਬਿੱਲ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਕਿਲੋਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ 1 ਕਿਲੋਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਟੂ 1 ਯੂਨਿਟ ਆਫ એનર્ਜੀ ਫਾਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦਾ ਬਿੱਲ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਆ 200 ਜਾਂ 300 ਯੂਨਿਟ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕੰਜ਼ਿਊਮਿੰਗ 300 ਯੂਨਿਟਸ ਆਫ એનર્ਜੀ ਇਨ ਅ ਮੰਥ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਕੇਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੀ ਕਹਾਂਗੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕੰਜ਼ਿਊਮਡ 300 ਕਿਲੋਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਆਫ એનર્ਜੀ now how we can calculate ki jehdi na joule jehdi energy aa oh uranium liberate kar reha unu kilowatt hour de vich kis tarah calculate kar sakde ha so kilo means 10 is to power kilowatt means 10 is to power 3 watt and hour one hour that is equal to 3600 second and we calculate it so it is coming of the order of 36 into 10 is to power 5 joule of energy which is in 1 kilowatt hour and when we divide this term with our total energy which is coming in joules and you can see that this much energy it is being generated so i will write here ki lagbhag 2 gram jada uranium ha wo kinni energy generate kar reha hai so that is of the order of 10 is to power 5 kilowatt hour 10 is to power 5 nu je main gal kara so it is 1 lakh unit ਹੁਣ 1 ਲੱਖ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ એનર્ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਜਨਰੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਆ ਸਿਰਫ 2 ਗ੍ਰਾਮ ਯੂਰੇਨੀਅਮ ਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਲਾ ਲਓ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ 300 ਯੂਨਿਟ ਬਿਜਲੀ ਜਨਰੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਿਣ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਘਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ એનર્ਜੀ ਉਹ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਜਸਟ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਨਿਊਕਲੀਅਰ ਫਿਸ਼ਨ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਿ 2 ਗ੍ਰਾਮ ਯੂਰੇਨੀਅਮ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਇੰਨੀ એનર્ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਫਾਰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਲੇਟਰ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਆਲਸੋ the energy of uranium we will compare with the energy of coal and i will uh, discuss or drive that ki jada 1 kilo uranium ha so it can generate the same energy jinna ki 30 lakh kilo coal ha jade hai energy jadi form karta hai so that we will discuss in the next lecture and that's all for today so ede regarding jade apna doubts hai ge ha oh kal uh, june de utte lecture jada ode ch discuss karange stay safe stay healthy See you.